It is a city where passion for football is red hot. Welcome to Naples in southern Italy. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Napoli facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. the team for Napoli, David Ospina begins in goal, Lorenzo Insigne starts with Matteo Politano in the wide areas and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Zielinski. An early goal, it is the ideal opening. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish, but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. City get things going again and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession Bernardo Silva it's with Joao Cancelo Foden on the offensive Jack Grealish great challenge he got nothing but ball Victor Ozimhen. A terrific pass. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Second goal for them here. Foden. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Good movement. Can he get one back? And he clears it out of harm's way.
Politano. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Plays it back. Of possibilities inside the box. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Can they hit on the break? And he cuts inside. Magnificent defending. Foden. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. It is a decent looking attack here, but quick thinking defensively. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. It's a promising City move. And return to De Bruyne. Well, possibilities in the centre. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Onguisa. Zielinski. Insigne. But nothing comes of it. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. And he takes it on. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here. And Manchester City get the ball rolling. And away they go again. Joyous football from Napoli in the first half. What will the second 45 bring us? Intercepting it intelligently. Gabriel Jesus. And great use of the ball to keep possession. Teammate and support. Well shown inside. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection. And he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So back in action, City still behind, but this game very much a contest. Just possessed there, tremendous piece of tackling. Excellent vision, and tossing through. Can they cover up? Well, they can keep possession of it now. Lorenzo Insigne, and Napoli might be onto something. And in from Insigne, 
Well, at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. And into the last 30 minutes now. Foden. Bernardo Silva. Grealish. Well, Napoli did well to regain control of the ball. Oh, what's he gone and done? Bernardo Silva. Well, they get themselves level here. What a block! Over it comes. And he didn't have too much room to work with, but a long way off target. This looks threatening. As you can see, Napoli haven't had that much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Can they create something from here? Insigne, and blocked for now. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Sterling. Dries Mertens. Fabian. And there's the feed into the box. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Walker, Ruben Diaz, Silva, over the top in the direction of Gabriel Jesus, plenty of players waiting in the middle, Foden, and he clears the danger, and Bernardo Silva has it, Textbook goalkeeping. Well, I thought that was a certain goal. If they do hold on to this lead, the keeper will be getting all the adulation. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. And the decision offside here. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Bernardo Silva. Time is against Manchester City, but still... And there's the final whistle. The big headline, defeat for City. What did you make of this? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.